The M4 Mac Mini is a fantastic compact computer that gives you a couple great ports on the back, and you also now have the USB-C ports on the front. I love using this, but there's a couple minor issues with this. The first thing is most users are gonna get the smaller 256 gigabyte version of this computer. The next issue is the power button's really hard to get to. And the last issue is there's no USB-A ports or an SD card reader. So to combat all of this, Satechi came out with the M4 Mac Mini stand and hub. This is really cool because you use one USB-C cord on the back of it and you get a bunch of great features like there's a built-in NVMe enclosure on the bottom of this. So you can put a drive all the way up to four terabytes. These are readily available and a great value for adding tons of storage to your Mac. It's very easy to set it up and install. All you gotta do is insert it, put a screw in, and you're good to go. And then on the front of this, you get a UHS-2 SD card slot, and you get three USB-A ports. Satechi did send me the stand for free for purposes of making this video. They have no input into this content. These are gonna be my thoughts after testing this out, who I think should buy this stand or who I think should buy something like a USB 4 SSD enclosure or a Thunderbolt dock or hub instead of getting a stand like this. I think when you look at this, it looks exactly like something Apple would make. It matches perfectly, looks very great, sleek and minimal. One thing that's kind of funny is there's no way to actually lock the computer into place. So you kind of just set it on and straighten it up. Now, one thing that's really cool about this is it actually raises the computer up enough that you can put your finger in and use the power button. Another thing that's great about this is the SD card slot on the front is UHS-2 speeds. So I was getting speeds all the way up to 310 megabytes a second on the right side and 260 on the read, which is exactly what my cards were promising. The USB-A ports give you speeds of 10 gigabits a second on the first two ports. And on the NVMe, I was hitting speeds all the way up to 980 megabytes a second on the right side and about 850 megabytes a second on the read side. It also elevates the computer, so you still have full access to the fans and the airflow that this computer is designed for. It is important to note this is a hub, it's not a Thunderbolt dock, so it's gonna operate at slower speeds and your bandwidth is gonna be limited to what the USB connection is available to give you. It's not gonna be as fast as a Thunderbolt dock because this is using USB speeds. So you technically could run into a bottleneck if you max all the ports out, and if you're running the SSD at the same time. I didn't run into any issues with it whenever I was accessing project files off of this for Final Cut, editing photos, videos, using this as an external enclosure. It just worked great. Now, what's kind of funny about this enclosure, it feels a little cheap on the bottom. It's all made of plastic. The side of it does have that Apple aluminum aesthetic. You get a nice little braided USB-C cable, and on the bottom of it, you can actually put it in there for storage. That's how it comes. And then whenever you're ready to set it up, all you got to do is put your computer on top and plug it in and you're ready to go. This worked fantastic. It looks really good. It matches the computer perfectly. I think where you have to decide if this is really worth buying for you or not is if you want the sleekest, most minimal setup possible while giving you extra storage at a very reasonable price. You can get tons of SSDs available for very reasonable prices. And I really recommend SSDs from Samsung, as well as Crucial, and I've also had really good luck with the WD Black series. I'm gonna have some of my favorite SSDs linked in the description below. Where I do have a problem with this is if you need to use a lot of Thunderbolt accessories, you're gonna be giving up one of your ports on the back. They told me this is not gonna work very well with the ports on the front because you do wanna have the higher bandwidth available to the back ports. So if you want a faster SSD, Satechi also makes the USB 4 enclosure. This is gonna give you speeds all the way up to 3000 megabytes a second on the read and write side. And then instead of using this, you could just use the ports on the front and use those little USB-C to USB-A adapters. You're not gonna have a card slot reader and you're also still gonna have to lift the computer up to access the power button. But if you just wanna have external storage, I think this is gonna be a better option for you because it is three times faster than what the stand is able to offer. But really the stand is for the user who wants to have the sleekest, most minimal Mac mini setup, adding some functionality with the USB-A ports, the very fast SD card slot, and also always having storage available in the bottom of it. The Satechi stand and enclosure retails for $100. And I think this is a great Swiss army knife option for anyone who has an M4 Mac mini, whether you have the M4 Pro or the standard M4, because you're gonna get the SSD enclosure, the SD card reader, the USB-A ports, and access to the power button while only giving up one Thunderbolt port. So if you're trying to decide if this is for you or not, look at the devices you already have and what you're looking to use with your Mac mini. If these fit within the ports that this gives you and the leftover ports on the computer, then this is a great buy because it gives you everything that you need. But if you need to use more than two Thunderbolt accessories at a time, if you need faster SSD transfer speeds, then you should probably look into buying a Thunderbolt 4 or 5 dock or hub instead because that's gonna give you more versatility 
more speed and more future connectivity as well. It's just not gonna be as practical or stylish as the Sateki stand and hub is. So overall, I highly recommend this, just as long as you know that all the devices that you use are gonna fit within the ports that you get with this. If you're interested in buying this stand and hub or the USB enclosure I talked about or my favorite NVMEs, I do have links to buy all of them in the description below. If you've got any other questions about this, leave a comment down below, I'd love to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.